Welcome everybody, it's Ricardo, I'm an engineer in iMaker and we are finally checking the rotary module of the SnapMaker 2.0. As you might know, if not you can check it in the previous videos, we already spoke about the printing function, the laser, the CNC carving, but everything was limited to the normal 3-axis system. Now finally with this module you can speak of 4. This applies to laser and CNC and by the way, even though I've been using the SnapMaker for quite some time, the fourth axis for me was totally new, so I said this is a good opportunity to be like the actual customer and say, okay, from scratch, this is my experience, what you need, what you don't need, is it safe, it's not, uh, so I will be showing you pretty much the software for both laser and CNC as well, and also my own conclusions, uh, what it, I think about the enclosure itself, uh, so far of course I think it's a really good one, but after playing with this one, I consider actually that it's a really good option, not mandatory of course, that would be up to you, but really, you should really consider it as a part of the whole uh, product, let's say. Um, as you know, uh, changing the head is 5 minutes, we already spoke about it, adding the platform is nothing, normally here you can add a tail stud as well, depends on the length of your job. And of course, some people told me this looks really small, but that's because this, the clamps are actually grabbing your material from the outer side, but actually you can change the order of them and grab from the inner side. So the diameter of the piece actually becomes much bigger. Uh, the experience was super amazing. I was mainly concerned about the safety of it, what about the noise, what about the messiness. Uh, of course, the enclosure is the key to all those answers, to be, uh, to be honest. Uh, but besides that, it's really friendly, you will not really need uh, much of a previous experience, actually not at all. The advice that Snapmaker has, is giving on you is super good, you can always rely on us as well. So if you think it's a good idea, let's take a look on the software first, so I show you quickly the, the jobs we run on it, and then we jump to some conclusions. Okay, let's go. For starting a job using the 4-axis, just go to the same spot, go to 4-axis, you just have to make sure you're having the right settings on everything just to avoid any potential collision, for example. Over here, actually, I preset those. Uh, this red area will be basically where the, the portion of material is being wrapped from, so they kind of show you, be aware of that, that you cannot work on that section. Uh, I will work with the same picture as the other time, uh, a bit smaller, actually. There we go. to be okay so basically this could be something used for example as a souvenir or something it doesn't have to be just playing with it you can actually capitalize the machine uh, and I will add some text as well the text you can modify it. remember that with the picture the best would be grayscale leave it in Atkinson I, you know I'm a fan over here uh, we can just thanks for watching it actually is true. There we go. So it's pretty much looking good. Let's see. Yeah, I would say I'm quite happy with it. Uh, so let's process this whole thing. So first, uh, let's create the toolpath for this text. Seems to be fine. And then for the picture as well. Everything seems to be fine. This one I will just do it like that, just to make it different as the previous time. Once we think we are ready, okay, we now have to wait for the toolpath. There we go. Let's take a look on the preview. And now you can see that actually it's doing everything. As we are happy with it, we will simply generate the G code, load it to the workspace. There we go. And as usual, connect to your machine, send it via Wi-Fi, and start the job from the machine. If what we need is to make a CNC using the 4-axis, similar to laser, let's see. 
pretty much we will locate the piece remember you can always make sure it's exact over here you have pretty much a preview of what would be the object looking like uh, let's process it it's quite straightforward once you understand the the way things go in Luban make sure you click on it click create the toolpath remember you can create your profiles here we will use this one provided by them save it and by now as we have the toolpath created we can go to the preview remember blue would be only the toolpath might be a bit weird to see you can always do simulation deactivate the toolpath and basically this is what we would be getting let's see what will happen over here create the g-code log to workspace and as usual connect to your machine send it via wi-fi and enjoy the view So everyone, here we are back with the machine. I just wanted to share some of my final thoughts after all the amounts of testing that we've done. I was a bit concerned as the rotary was totally new for me. I've been using and repairing Snapmakers for quite some time, but I was even concerned of being it too difficult or maybe some previous experience required. It's not like that. Also, the guys are explaining really well. But to be honest, once you know the logic of the three axis, applying the fourth axis becomes super easy. Otherwise, anyway, you have us, the Snapmaker team as well. We can always guide you, give you some tips, some ideas. That shouldn't be an issue. But in terms of the actual machine, I consider it is really loyal. Really, as I mentioned of my, on my really first video, this is a really good option if you are starting or if you already have a business, small business. Um, it's a really good option. The machine is really loyal. It's super easy to find you know, the right uh, balance of all the settings. If not, of course, there's plenty of material online. You can always give us a quote, shouldn't be an issue. One thing, especially for laser and car carving as well, get the enclosure. You may say that uh, you feel confident about uh, grabbing the emergency stop button, which I recommend you in any case, but the enclosure does the difference. Either if it's about the messiness, about the noise, or even about the fumes where you are using the laser, it does change and it does change a lot. Um, I was worried about the fumes as well, but Snapmaker just released the air purifier as well. We've tested it and it's super amazing. So you might have to just set up everything. You get all the parts that you, the modules that you prefer, the ones that you don't prefer, just not. And you have the whole machine. You have the three machines in one, all contained in here. So guys, being this set, uh, I would say pay us a visit, give us a call. I would really encourage you to check the machine. It's an absolute win-win. Uh, really loyal all the performance you don't need any previous experience it is a safe machine as well and remember i'm saying machine but actually you have three machines in one and with the rotary it's technically three but i would consider it as a fourth as well so thank you very much for watching guys if you would like really get in touch the machine is really worth to see so let us know we will be waiting for you thanks